Hello, you're watching Sector Savvy here with Mark Laudy. Our focus is on banks and we're now going to talk to Hashwaran Modi from JP Morgan about how banks actually make money because it's not as easy as with any other company that sells a product or service, is it? Well, yes and no. Uh, yes, because they are in a simple business of uh, borrowing money at a lower interest rate and lending money at a higher interest rate and that is what we call net interest margin. To that extent, it is, it is relatively straightforward and easy. But then that's where the ease stops and becomes a bit complicated after that. Um, banks not only make money on net interest margin, but almost depending, especially in Singapore, about a third of their uh, revenues come from non-interest income, which includes uh, everything including trading businesses, credit card, um, instant banking, stock broking, insurance, um, rental income, dividend, you name it. And setting up these businesses requires uh, banks to incur costs in um, set up infrastructure for that. And this is something which kind of keeps uh, evolving over a period of time. But more important thing about banking is not how they make money, but how do they manage their cost base? Because ultimately that is what determines the profitability of a bank. And the three costs essentially which banks incur, the interest cost, the call it operational cost, which includes marketing, human resources, uh, uh, IT systems, and third is the credit cost. And all of these three costs are the way the banks manage these costs is probably one of the more important um, concerns for, should be more important concern for the shareholder because that is what differentiates different banks and across, across a period of time. All right, and uh, in the next uh, episode, we'll be talking about risk factors, where I suppose some of these things such as uh, credit costs will come up again. Stay tuned here on Sector Savvy. Uh, but, you know, uh, while we're on the subject of making money and that margin between loans and deposit uh, interest rates, what will happen once interest rates start to rise in 2015? Do you expect, I mean, in theory, that margin will widen and therefore the banks should make more money, right? That's right. Uh, Singapore banks, if I look at last 10 to 15 years, if interest rates start moving up, they do uh, see an expansion in margins. But uh, the question this time around is, given the fact that loan growth has been pretty robust over the last five years, when interest rates go up, will uh, the borrowers be able to service their loans to the same, ex same extent that they did over the last uh, five years? And the entire regulatory shift in Singapore over the last uh, uh, few years has been done with an eye on managing that risk as and when rates go up. So it's kind of a double-edged sword, um, depending on how good the risk management actually is, um, the outcome will, can differ meaningfully.